kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to show you the scientific calculator app alright and also I will be showing you the demo and after that I will tell you how to create a similar uh, scientific calculator app alright so first of all let me open the app alright so basically it is all in one calculators having all the calculators here you can see scientific calculator unit calculator currency calculator alright it contains all the calculators so I will be creating a separate video on that so uh, before wasting any time let's now open this scientific calculator app alright so here you can see that I have this uh, layout it's a beautiful layout and let's try to add something okay let's say 5 plus 9 and if I click here so you can see okay, 14 alright so if I click on AC so you can see it is now reset also if I want to have some values so let's say sign of 12 and let's close it and here you can see it is also working alright similarly if I click on x3 so you can see 125 alright so after that as you can see this is tan sign and cos so if I click on shift button you can see there is tan inverse, sine inverse and cos inverse. So if I click on tan inverse so here is the value of tan inverse. So if I click on shift again so now the values are reset. Also I have here is the log function here and also the power function. Alright also we have the square root and if we want to find the square root of 25 let's say and here you can see okay so now let's go to our code and first of all this is the xml code here all right and after that i am let's show let me show you in the design view and here you can see i have a tape layout which is the parent layout after that inside that we have uh, a couple of rows and here you can see this is the first row which is contains a text view then we also have an, uh, a couple of uh, table rows okay so these are the table rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 all right and that are in the form of 8 by 5 i mean 8 rows and 5 uh, columns so inside that you can see I have five buttons here in every uh, table row and it is in horizontal view alright and now let's go to our scientific part of the uh, Java file and here first of all I have initialized the JS evaluator okay after that i have initialized the edit text which contains the result and also i have the two buttons for shift sine cos tan because i want to change that to sine inverse cos inverse and tangent inverse all right so this is the equals method and inside that it is checking if there is any syntax error okay and if there is no syntax error so the evaluator will evaluate it and display the result inside the text view here you can see we are setting the text to the edit text alright so after that there are the some methods this is for button 1 2 3 4 similarly all the code is same here okay it is just setting this uh, is using the set selection method and set text method alright and here you can also see we have this uh, text or uh, set text and inside that we are just uh, setting it with multiplier alright guys that is it if you like the video please like it and subscribe goodbye